wallet ready, ready as well. Okay, so at the moment we are at Bitcoin Collective in Edinburgh, UK, and here with me I have the person from LN Bits. Can you please yeah. introduce yourself? Uh, so I'm Ben Ark, and I uh, work on a project called LN Bits, which is a simple wallet account system. Uh, it's like the WordPress for your node. You can put it on your Bitcoin node and then connect, have these extensions, which then add this functionality to it. But it's also an account system. I also like building hardware, so I have like a bunch of hardware here connecting to my Allen Bits, um, so I can receive payments and then like turn things on. Or um, uh, so let's have a look. So what have we got? So we've got a a claw game here. This is a, a, a ten pound claw game I just bought from a children's toy shop, and then if you um, this is has using one of these very cheap microcontrollers. Um, let me see. Here we go. Just a second. So I'm doing. Oh yeah, we'll do the here. experience first, then I'll talk about the side of it. Yeah. Well, I'm doing the experience because it takes a while. So I just paid and then, 58 and subs. The, it doesn't take a while. That's the marvelous thing about it. So no, it takes a while to play them. <laughs> the the electronics inside of here, they um, they have a web socket with my Allen bits installed, and then every time a payment comes through, it triggers the uh, the switch and then turns on the machine so you can play the machine. But basically, anything which you turn on, you can retrofit to accept lightning payments, and you can see how fast they are as well. Like we're out competing Visa Network for speed. So can you please again explain like um, what do we have there in terms of hardware and what does it do? Why is it needed? Yeah, so um, let me open one of these. So this is like a really simple microcontroller. It's like two pounds or something. Um, and this just has the ability to be able to do requests, like a get or a post request to um, my server, to my Allen Bits server. So this can, I know it can create, it can connect to a web socket as well. So my Allen Bits server um, can tell this when things have been paid. And then it has these GPIOs, these tiny little pins on the back here, and we can plug stuff into it. So we could plug in an LED, for example. I'll open up my laptop so we can power this device and then if we wait a second here, what we have here is we have one of these little microcontrollers for like two pounds, and then we have a tiny little LED here connected to it. Just a couple of wires. It's like Lego. It's not you know, nothing to be intimidated by. This has been connected to my Allen Bits install, and now just like the Claw game, um, you can also set how long you want something to turn on for. But just like the Claw game, if I scan this QR code and make a payment, hopefully, hopefully. There we go, it turns on the light. But you can see that like, it's instant, as soon as the payment settles, the light turns on. Uh, so pretty much anything you can think of that has a switch and turns on for a period of time, you can retrofit to accept Bitcoin Lightning payments and then just have a little QR code and pay to you know engage with an arcade machine or turn a coffee machine on or pay for a beer or... Um, uh, Turn lights on or Wi-Fi, whatever. You want to do. Literally, the Anything. endless possibilities because all it is an electrical switch. That when it's switched, something can happen. It well, I mean, one of the things I did was in our we have like a YouTube channel where we yeah. do our panel show every Friday, and one of the things I did there is I had a, a smoke machine in my in my room yeah. where I was doing my video yeah. on my panel, and then I also had a. Um, a machine with a, a sort of slappy hand attached to a motor. Okay. So if the audience didn't like what I said, yeah. there was a QR code on the screen, they scan could scan it. it and it would slap me and yeah. then blow smoke at me. There's a really yeah. nice video actually. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Uh, is it worth trying to get? I won't try to get on that. But um, so we have this, the switch, but then we've also got like a cheap DIY ATM. That's about 60 quid to make probably. No, more, maybe about 80 quid to make. Um, and if you look in the back, we, I've made it really simple as well, the wiring. I want it to be like Lego. Like, I want it to be as easy as Lego. And we've got like, what, like four or five wires or something you need to plug into the back of the microcontroller. And then you can flash the microcontroller and it will, um, you can set up an ATM. We also have a bill acceptor version of this where you can add the bill acceptor and it works. You can put bills in and that works well. Um, and then we've also got here, we've got like a, a, a POS, which is also using microcontrollers. This is connected again to my LM bits, but this is actually offline. So this isn't connected to the internet at all. Um, it's completely offline, but it, it has a secret inside the device, which my LM bits install also has, right? So now, uh, if I generate an invoice 
for uh, a cent. You can set this to any currency, by the way. It's set to a fiat currency because this is offline, so you, you, you can't do, you know, um, conversion. So you set it to a fiat currency. When I press this hashtag now, you, it's going to generate a four-digit pin. It's going to encrypt it using that secret and then put it inside the QR code. Watch this. Watch how fast this is. Boom. That's my wow. payment link. Is so, that scannable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, this is, yeah, pay it. Pay it with your, your wallet. Well, I could pay it with my wallet if it's easier. Here we go, let's do it. So I sent yeah, yeah, the yeah, cautious, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and it's a bit bright, so I can, I can oh, yeah, it worked. So if you, you pay that, now you'll get a receipt back with a link. Open the link. So right there. Now open that link. That's open, open, crazy. No, open, open it, open it. That is crazy. No, watch, watch, watch. So you've got a pin. 7185, yeah. watch this. Same pin. Every time I make a payment, the pin is generating a unique pin, encrypting it, putting it inside that QR code. Pay this one now. It's an elaborate way for me to get all your sets. <laughs> so if we pay that now, yeah, we'll get the... As a receipt, you get the decrypted pin. So, um, open. And again, watch now. Boom. Because the pin was generated inside this device. It's completely offline. You can go into the middle of the desert and use it. Okay, okay. Wherever, you know. Okay, but, okay, so, uh, tell me here. You though. could also use this as an ATM as well. So, um, in lots of parts of the world, if you go to an ATM, it's not like a machine. It's a dude with a, a, a thing. And then you make a card payment, he gives you cash. Okay, um, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Tell me, tell me how, how is this applicable in a uh, real-life device? So you get the pin and then what? Because the first thing that pops up in my mind... shit, so like I want to sell some stuff, like, you know, I'm going to go sell something. And I'm offline, so I okay. can't be traced, so I can sell some. Oh, I like, I'll sell this Oh, I'll and sell he coffee. has the pin, he can tell you the pin, he did indeed pay. You tell me the pin. I understand uh, so, you, so you pay now. it, and then, yeah. and then I say, what's the pin? Yeah, you yeah. tell me the pin, and I press the thing, and then I see the pin. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 And, and it also, but you can also do an ATM thing on here. So I can input a pin and then put an amount in and then it generates a withdrawal link. A bit like this thing, yeah. how this thing works. Um, so I could sell you, so you could give me $10 and I could sell you like $9 worth of Bitcoin using this as well. But I mean, currently I've just got the POS on there, but you can do that as well. It works. Yeah. It's pretty and it's cool. great on how small device, actually the modern cameras of the phones. That's completely DIY, yeah, completely DIY, DIY, free and open source. It costs like $15 for the bear electronics and another five dollars ten dollars for the case so it's like twenty dollars twenty five dollars for a uh, completely free and open source diy no trusted third party point of sale amazing yeah it's dope, actually it? quite crazy yeah so much fun stuff to build <laughs> amazing so 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 uh, as we discussed before that on camera sadly we couldn't uh, get you on our conference in sofia bulgaria uh, i heard uh, great things about this conference so i'm promoing about it uh, but we really really love you to see you on, uh, in bulgaria on yeah. the next one you're doing such an amazing job like everyone else uh, even bit and uh, there is just like so much work so much open source so much uh, examples of how uh, you know you can use lightning network to make these micro payments for all sorts of different gadgets like yeah. how cool is that listen listen one of my dreams one of my dreams is uh, uh, to have airbnbs but airbnbs that are really uh, style stylized whatever the word is i went in greece in corfu Island. Yeah. there was this one where they had an arcadia yeah. game right yeah. and um uh, in this game, uh, 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 it was just literally the, the Airbnb just kept it in the middle of the Airbnb in Arcadia. Yeah. I would love to have, like, uh, you must pay some SATs in order to enable it. So and easy. some instructions there where yeah. they say, if you don't have SATs, here's how you download a Bitcoin wallet, how you purchase just a small bit of Bitcoin, and then you can play the Arcadia in and the Airbnb. And you give me some SATs too. So what we can do yeah. is, uh, if I go to one of my LM bits, one of my many LM bits wallets, hopefully it's got funds on it. Here we go. And then if I, you see it here. Yeah. Um, and then if I go to manage extensions and then LNURL withdraw. Oh man, my, just as I was doing this, my, my printer ran out. I mean, it's what I'm going to be using as well. So I go, oh, oh, watch that. So we go to LNURL withdraw. Here we go. Open that. Um, make some vouchers. Okay, yeah. connect it to that wallet. Oh, wait there, I shouldn't be using this wallet. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, that wallet's an actual production wallet being used for a cafe. Uh, okay, let me use a different wallet. That was funny. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'll use this wallet. All right. Manage extensions. 
There we go, sorry about that. LN URL, withdraw, enable, URL, withdraw, open. Here we go. Right, so I'm going to make advanced thing. Okay, click the wallet. Uh, free sats. Minimum withdraw. So we're going to give 10 sats away. Maximum 10 sats. Amount of uses. 10 uses. We could set that to whatever. Time between withdrawals will say 60 seconds. And then create withdrawal link. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so now I copy this out in URL. Right? Then. I plug in, one moment, I plug in uh, beg my pardon, there we go, plug in that device, so we can power it up, right, sorry, thank you. So we have an LN URL, which we made on our server, so now I can turn on my little printer, this is what you'll do for your arcade machine. Come on. Oh, I think it might have just run out of it. Oh, I still have got enough power to turn on. But basically, what I was going to do, but my printer's run out of power, is um, I was just going to print out a little QR code. Yeah, yeah so I did. And, yeah. and you can use that as a faucet then. So on the arcade machine, you could say, here's some free sats. So basically, every hour, it could give you some free sats. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. You get the free sats, yeah. then you go around, and then you Which pay. Like voucher for the use the Yeah, and then you pay for the arcade machine. machine yeah. So you give them the, so yeah. they receive and they send. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But the demo failed because my printer is dead, so <laughs> we're out of charge. <laughs> so, OK, so uh, can you please, uh, I, I have two more questions. So you said it's a open source, do it yourself, and so on. I see a lot of tech here. I see a lot of tech. So how long would you say a person uh, uh, that's not completely non-technical, let's say a person that, let's say, maybe messed out a, a, a bit with Raspberry Pi or whatever, uh, how can these two people actually, how quickly can they uh, uh, get into uh, doing some Lightning Network stuff? So, uh, well, make like these things themselves. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, we're, that's the goal, is we make that easier and easier and easier. So, this demo will be a bit better, I, I hope. Um, if I show you on here, oh, with my super complicated password, for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. There we are, we're good. We're in. Good, yeah. We're in. Um, so, what am I doing? Um, easy and easy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. LMPOS. So now, with our. Oh, I have to go here first. If you go to the LMPOS GitHub, and then go to the right one, so it's on LMBits. Here we go. Um, we can, uh, oh, wait there, I've got the wrong browser open. Again, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. LMPOS. Ah, here we go, installer. So before, you would have to download the Arduino IDE. Okay. And then uh, plug the device in and then flash the, the hardware from this thing. Yeah. But now, we have uh, an installer just in the web browser. So you get one of these devices, you know, one of these like fifteen dollar device, you know, electronics, uh, the, the hardware for it. Plug it in, and then you can connect, and you can just flash, like, from the web browser, um, and then just flash the device. It takes like five minutes. Uh, so I think that's like pretty non-technical. Is there is there like a video tutorial showing how to do there that? There isn't for this because this is very very new, hot off the press. But there will be very shortly. I'll do a video for it. Amazing. As always. Amazing. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a video for it. And, and, and where does one purchase all of the hardware that... Uh, uh, so, I mean, Amazon, uh, AliExpress is probably your best bet for, for cheap, if you want it cheaper. Um, this is like a, a Lilygo T display. So, uh, the company Lilygo make these. So, they're from AliExpress. I buy those. Like $15 each, $13, something like that. Very cheap. Um, so yeah, just order the electronics in from China and, and get building, you know. Awesome. Yeah. And then we'll keep making it easier to do. So this process of being able to flash through the browser, we will also do for the Bitcoin switch as well. Which will make this a lot easier, so we can flash one of these. We'll make that project a lot easier to build as well. The idea is that like someone, like you say, completely non-technical, can buy some hardware, plug it in, 
flash it, and then build an ACM. And it's like Lego, like it's simple, like it's, you know, a child could do it. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Cool. Thanks for all the work. And Cheers, man. Time. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. See for the good work. See you in Bulgaria. <laughs> so it's about 10 hours later. I found that I was able to win the machine. <laughs> I'm joking, I did not win. They really messed up the ones that are left here. Yeah, it's really hard to pull them. But actually, uh, uh, we got this one uh, from inside here. So can you please tell us what is this? So these are, uh, it's all about impressions. I mean, any good market, it's a bit of guerrilla Bitcoin marketing right here. Yeah. And you can, it's a, it's a buy Bitcoin stamp. Uh, so just as buy Bitcoin on it, and then you can you know, stamp things. And say buy Bitcoin. So you can stamp your fiat currency, stamp people's faces, walls, backs of chairs. Um, and so far I've distributed about 12,000 of these since the 12,000? Yeah, so if each, if each one stamps, you know, just a couple of notes, that's a lot of impressions. The Amazing. next lot I get made up will say use Bitcoin. Yeah? Because I think, yeah, it's funny because the, the um, uh, I don't know, like the dialogue's changed. It's more about using Bitcoin as opposed to just buying. Buying Bitcoin isn't enough now, like use it, get involved. Absolutely. So the next one will say that. Absolutely. The next batch of 10,000. Um, <laughs> so again, thank you so much for your time so and see you later. Bye-bye.